How many times have you loaded up a solo only to be outplayed or beaten by another opponent? It can oftentimes be difficult to perform well in solos, especially considering the fact that you're constantly playing by yourself with no assistance from anyone. This means it's all on you. Every decision, rotation, and play you decide to make will ultimately choose whether you come out on top or end up getting sent back to the lobby. We could stink this man to death. There's a lot of things we can do. Wow, I pickaxed that guy and killed him so fast that it didn't even give me an option to retrieve my victory royale reward that it just kicked me out. That's crazy. Solos can be very hard, so that's why we at Pro Guides have created this expert tips video on how you can improve and dominate in solos. And who's better to learn from than the world champion himself? Vuga not only won the World Cup, but he won the World Cup solos, raking in over $3 million for his incredible skill. Before we get started, Pro Guides has a small announcement to make. We are adding a ton of new features to our site, which include one, exclusive guide videos for our pro members every single day, two, ProPass now grants access to all games, such as League of Legends, Smash Brothers, CSGO, and Overwatch, more free coaching passes and points for Instapro if you're a pro member, so head on over to Pro Guides by clicking the link in the description below. Also, don't forget to drop a like if you like these types of videos. All right, in this video today, we're going to be giving you guys the best solo tricks and strategies to come out on top. And we will do so by breaking down and analyzing some of Booga's solo gameplay in normal pubs and arena. Of course, we could do World Cup, but the World Cup is nowhere near the skill level and play style you're going to run into during your normal matches. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now let's talk a little bit about what makes Booga so dominant. The World Cup champion is no doubt the most talented player right now. He's fast, he strikes hard, and knows every trick in the book. Killed everyone, Dusty. Are you good over there, Turner? Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm about it. Oh my god, nice up Is it the same time for everyone, or is it different? Good. I'm ahead of, I have three. Oh, One of his primary feats is patience. Now, I know a lot of you guys might not know what this has to do with Fortnite, so let me explain. Making the right play at the right time is all it takes to win the game. Do it early, you could get killed. Do it late and suffer the same fate. So let's dive into the early game of SEN Booga. Right off the bat, we can see that Booga is a player that likes to land hot. He goes straight to Salty Springs, one of the most contested areas in the game ever since the introduction of Neo Tilted. Dropping Salty isn't always easy. You're going to run into a lot of problems, having to contest players for weapons and fighting off spawn with, well, not the best loot. Booga, however, does a great job of using what he has to his advantage. He makes it obvious that he's a very smart player and that he's not just a mechanical warrior. Here, we can see him approaching another player with caution as he's trying to find out where they are. Booga figures out the player is outside and makes a very smart play. He starts by pickaxing the wall with the door, making the opponent think he's going for a wall replace. Then, he quickly opens the door and goes for a shot. Seeing that his opponent isn't paying too much attention to him, he goes for some easy pistol shots and manages to deal a good amount of damage. What he does next is very interesting, and something that not many people do. He goes ahead and throws three grenades, all at different areas. As soon as he launches all three, he walks away and continues to play the game normally, completely disregarding that he was just fighting an opponent. A few moments later, we see an opponent pop up in his kill feed, and we see that Booga managed to finish off that player with those three grenades. Now, this may seem like a simple play, but there was so much analysis and critical thinking done that this is something that only a small percentage of people would have thought to do. Not only did he perfectly place all three grenades in different areas, as to guarantee that one of them would hit, but he also made this play due to the fact that it was the early game. The early game means that most players don't have many materials. Therefore, his opponent wouldn't have mats to build around himself, protecting him from the grenade's impact, making this a genius level play. As Booga approaches the steps in the blue house, he hears another opponent. He quickly takes cover behind his wall and makes a couple moves to figure out where his opponent is. He edits the wall and resets it while running back to try to make the opponent push him. Once he realizes exactly where his foe is, he listens closely and hears him pickaxing the wall. Booga uses his opportunity to make a quick edit play, hitting the enemy player with a high damage tack shot. This ends the fight in an instant. The play was very smart since he pushed when the opponent had his pickaxe out, meaning that Booga had a period of time before the opponent could swing out his gun. Something small that Booga does, which actually makes a big difference, is his efficiency in farming mats in the early game. 
He's very quick at switching off his pickaxe while timing it perfectly so that he saves time getting mats in the early game. Pushing up for his next kills, we see Booga get dance bombed. This is always a bad thing and can cause your game to come to an end quite quickly. But Booga won't let this happen. Pay close attention as he instantly starts spinning and jumping as soon as the opponent starts trying to lock in on him for a high damage shot. This makes it harder for the opponent to hit a detrimental shot and makes it so that Booga has a better chance of getting out of the dance mode without taking too much damage. And that's exactly what happens. As soon as his enemy takes his shot, Booga instantly starts building and boxes up to prevent taking any more damage. This is a great trick to use if you're ever boogie bombed. This tends to happen much more often in Season 10 as many players carry these utilities to counter mechs. Now that Booga was able to get out of that tight situation, we see him being more aggressive and pushing out. Notice that he has a low amount of mats, so it's interesting that he's using them so aggressively. The reason for this is because pro players like Booga know that materials should be used as much as possible. Because what's the point of saving all your mats, only to take damage and get eliminated because you tried to conserve them? As the gameplay continues, Booga starts hearing grenades being thrown toward his general direction. He instantly starts going down into the basement to get cover. This will allow him to use natural areas as cover instead of using up all of his materials. As he goes down, he notices there's an opponent hiding here. He quickly boxes up and pushes aggressively. Booga knows that he must eliminate this opponent quickly before he gets pinched from the ones above. He starts becoming very aggressive and mechanical while pushing this opponent, using his ping to his advantage and taking walls as he goes. Now, pay attention to the maneuver that he does as soon as he takes the wall. Booga quickly edits the wall and places a ramp over his opponent. He edits this ramp and is now in full control over this opponent. Owning the ramp and the wall will render the enemy's builds useless. It makes them either have to shoot you or pickaxe your ramp, which will give you an opportunity to deal massive damage. This is a trick used by many pros and top tier players. It's especially useful in solos when you're dealing with one opponent at a time. Players like Mongrel and Booga use this editing trick almost every box fight. Further into the gameplay, we see Booga pushing another opponent. This one is very aggressive, using the drum gun. A lot. Booga knows that this gun can do massive damage if utilized correctly, so he doesn't rush his edits or builds and holds them while the opponent sprays. Believe it or not, Booga is actually waiting for the opponent's clip to run out. He can guess that this will happen because of how wildly the drum gun is being used, and Booga is waiting for the perfect time to strike. While holding walls, he expands into the opponent's base by placing a ramp in between, which closes off the distance even more. Now that Booga's in the box and has control of the ramp in between, he waits for the enemy to finish his clip, and as soon as he does, Booga flips the ramp and takes two easy tack shots to finish the fight. There's two takeaways from this encounter. One, Booga was able to stay patient and wait for the right moment to push out an attack. This is key for solos, when a lot of times you'll be facing very good opponents and even third parties. Two, he closed the distance as much as he could due to his weapon. Booga's tack shotgun is a close range weapon that can be useless if used from medium or longer range, so closing off the distance maximizes the amount of damage he could do. Now, as soon as that fight ends, we see Booga getting pushed by yet another opponent. This time, the opponent has an advantage as Booga's walls are not his own, and his own ramps and walls are all edited, leaving him open. Knowing this, he quickly jumps out of the box and starts building more one by ones to protect himself from the incoming shots. Booga uses the second that he has to quickly drink a slurp. He knows this next opponent will be a tough one, so he quickly uses the slurp even though a lot of the health it provides will be wasted. Booga also just created a free slot. He knows this, and he knows exactly what he wants to put in that slot, so he quickly edits out and boxes his way back into the old loot pile where he picks up the drum shotgun. This damaging weapon can be used to destroy opponents if paired with good aim and smart positioning, and this is exactly what Booga plans to do. Now, seeing that his opponent is very aggressive, Booga switches his plans and decides to use the tactical because once again, this opponent excels at close range. This allows him to get a clean 92 damage headshot off without taking any in return as he quickly builds after the shot. As Booga starts getting back into the fight and approaching the enemy, he realizes that his wall was taken. Now, instead of blindly attacking, Booga uses his wits and takes a look around, then notices that the opponent's side wall is indeed Booga's. Booga uses this as an opportunity to quickly jump into his box and take two easy shots at the enemy with attack. Seeing how effectively Booga plays based off of his layout gives us a good example of how to play in solos. Utilizing what you have is critical if you want to succeed. Notice how much Booga was playing up close because of the tack being his primary shotgun, and look how well he slayed out those opponents. Playing intelligently like this in solos will guarantee better placements and more kills overall. If there's anyone that you're going to want to learn from, it's the world champion himself. So make sure to rewind this video if you have to and take some notes because Booga's gameplay is full of small tricks and plays that we hoped we were able to convey to you guys clearly. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Throw all your thoughts and comments down below and let us know if we missed anything. And once again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate all the support and we will see you guys in the next one.